Hey guys, Erin here with another episode of A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. I got a message asking how to make a SIL file into an SVG file. I don't really do this too often and I only know how to do it with black and white images. So hopefully this helps. If you know how to do it with color images, send me a message and uh, I will practice it and make a video about that as well. So I brought up a file that I have. I made this one. I know everybody's probably seen it because everyone makes it and I used my own different fonts that I wanted to use for my kid. So we're going to turn this one into an SVG. The first thing you're going to want to do is make the entire thing black. And you're also going to want to make your cut lines black as well. Then if you use your snipping tool, you can save that as a JPEG. And then just get rid of that. Then you'll want to open Inkscape and then open the file in there. It'll be saved wherever you save your images. This import will come up and ask you what you want to do. I just leave the default and just hit OK. Then you're going to open it fully and you're going to select the image and then go to path, trace bitmap, and again I just leave the default. What I do like to do is hit update just to see how it will look and then hit OK and then X out of that. Then you're going to move this top one, delete the bottom one because that's the JPEG you put in, and then you have almost your SVG. So now you will hit File, Save As, it says ABC Shirt, and Save As Type is SVG, but you can click on that and change it to whatever else. So Inkscape, Plain, whatever. We'll go back to the Inkscape one. Now I have that saved on my desktop so you can see. And we'll open this blank one and pull in the file, make it bigger. And then if I hit send and the cut lines, it put them on there for me. So that's how you would save a SIL file into an SVG file. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. If you have suggestions for other videos I should be doing, leave me comments about that as well. I enjoy your feedback. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for new videos. Until next time, guys, happy crafting.